Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to VNC onto your Raspberry Pi so that you can remote onto the Raspberry Pi from another machine and have a full graphical desktop. So this is actually a quite a straightforward procedure. So um, first off, you need to get onto the Raspberry Pi and uh, then you're going to open a terminal window, click on that button there. I've made the window a little bit bigger, um, so now we can see it. And uh, what we're going to do is sudo raspberry-config. So that's a sudo space raspi-config. That takes you into your settings. Uh, we want to go into interface options. I'm going to press the down arrow to get to VNC. And you can see it's um, disabled by default. Press the tab key to highlight yes. Press return. Press tab and tab again to get to the finish. Press return. And at this point, I recommend rebooting the Raspberry Pi. You can do that by typing sudo reboot now. Uh, when you reboot, you'll see this symbol up in the top right corner. If you click on that, uh, it brings up uh, the v real VNC server. And you'll see your IP address there. Uh, you can take a note of that. Alternatively, if you open a terminal window and type in hostname, you'll see the name of your Raspberry Pi. So take a note of that there or that there and then you need to boot the computer that you're going to use to connect to the Raspberry Pi. Note that um, obviously you need to leave the Raspberry Pi plugged in and turned on, um, otherwise it's not going to work. Um, but now we'll switch over to Windows and to Linux and uh, I'll show you how to VNC onto the Raspberry Pi. So here we are within Windows and what we need is a real VNC. So we're going to open a web browser and we're going to search for real VNC viewer. And you're going to click on the top link there. So ultimately you are at realvnc.com and if you're on any other site then you're in the wrong place. So it's realvnc.com. And then down here you can download a real VNC for whichever device you want to download it for. So in this case I'm going to do Windows and you can do installers, standalone XEs, etc. I'm just going to choose the default option and click the download button. When that's done, close, open a file explorer, click on the downloads folder and then you'll see VNC viewer. So double click on that. We can close the Explorer window now and click OK. Well, choose your language first, obviously, and then click OK. Then click Next. Accept the license. Click Next. We should read the license first. Uh, you can choose whether to have a desktop shortcut. Uh, I was choosing Yes for that, and then click Next. And then click Install. When the warning appears, click Yes. and then click finish. You'll see over here we now have a real VNC viewer on the desktop if we double click on the icon. Um, you don't need to sign in, you can just click use real VNC viewer without signing in. So remember the name of your Raspberry Pi from earlier or the IP address, you need to type it in the address bar at the top. So 192.168.1.122 click that, you'll get this uh, message uh, warning you that uh, it's potential security risk. Uh, click continue and then you need to enter your username and password for your Pi. And that's it. As you can see, everything that was on the Pi when I last left it is still there and I am logged into the Raspberry Pi. I will now show you the same thing from Linux. 
So here we are on my Linux PC and you can see that I have gone to the realvnc.com webpage and I've clicked on downloads and uh, these are the options for Linux. So there's the Debian package, uh, I'm using Zubuntu so that's perfectly fine for me. There's an RPM package that's for um, Fedora users and um, other distributions that use RPMs. There's a standalone x64 and an xe64. So um, if I download the Debian package, I can go to my downloads folder. You'll see I've also installed um, downloaded the other file. I'll show you that shortly. But for the Debian package, all you do is double click on the file and it should open up automatically within whichever tool you've got. Um, so in Ubuntu, it'll, in, it'll install automatically. Zubuntu, Debian, it, it will just install. So I can install that from here and um, then it will um, work. So let's do that. Type in the password. And that's now available, so if I click open, can accept the license agreement and then I can click the view over that sign in and, and I can type in my Pi's address again as I did under Windows. Same message appears and I just type in my username and password and here we are inside the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to uninstall that. And I want to show you one of the other downloads. So under the Linux section there is the standalone x64 and if I download that what you get is this file here. If you right click and go to properties and then permissions you can allow this file to run as a program and by doing that essentially this is an app image and you can see it will just load as an executable just like that and it's just basically loaded and it's obviously remembered settings from the previous install of the Debian package, but uh, so that's th that's the easiest way of running uh, real VNC on uh, Linux is to use the app image. And the final option is a tar package. And the way we deal with tar packages is we open up a terminal, we go into the downloads folder, ls, and we do tar minus x zvf, select the file, right click copy, paste it, and you'll see it's now created this folder here. And it's got a VNC install shell script and there's a readme, so it's worth doing that. And all you have to do is run that command there. So if I go into this folder here, we can just select it. Right click, copy, and then paste. It's giving me a warning that I'm pasting a command and then I can do sudo because I'd imagine it will need sudo vnc install and I should be able to type vnc viewer if I put the ampersand at the end it will run it as a background process and again you'll see it's loaded up perfectly well You can click that button there to make it full screen. 
and there we have it. That's how you remote onto a Raspberry Pi using VNC as a server on the Raspberry Pi and VNC Viewer as a client on either Windows or Linux. And I've shown you multiple ways of running VNC Viewer on Linux. And that's the end of the video. If you liked it, give a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.